Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jack Kim here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. I wanted to thank you for trying out our site auditor. I hope you got some insight out of that. Um, while I had some free time here at the office, I wanted to follow up and do a video analysis of your website um, to kind of take a look at what's been working for you and exactly how we could help you uh, rank for the keywords that you're looking to rank for. So now, um, I understand I've done a little bit of homework and I understand I've actually never worked with a politician before so that's actually really cool but um, I understand that you're looking to rank for the keyword Monica Montgomery and the reason being is when we type in Monica Montgomery it so happens that it pulls up someone else right and this is why we're trying to rank for Monica Montgomery because anyone that's trying to vote for Monica or, or look her up isn't gonna type in vote for Monica they're gonna type in Mon Monica Montgomery which makes sense um, did a little bit more research so I understand that um, the voting will happen next year out in uh, June I believe or, or somewhere somewhere around then so we do have a little bit of free time definitely to get this going now the great news is that um, your competition the person that holds that spot this month Monica O. Montgomery person definitely um, definitely is beatable right and we can definitely beat her um, let me just kind of explain how we go about doing that right so right here you can see the uh, number of referring domains and backlinks right here basically the referring domains and backlinks are the number of websites that are currently pointing to uh, this website the vote for Monica.org now this is a very important metric that Google tracks and utilizes to determine how authoritative a website is and this is very important because the authoritative websites are the ones that rank high in Google right so you can see right now you're sitting at one website um, uh, with two backlinks right so if there is a website out there called uh, votesandiego.com and they made a blog post and they maybe mentioned uh, Monica Montgomery and then said hey check her out at this website vote for Monica.org that would be a link back that goes to your website and that would be a quality website and that would be a quality uh, referral because it has to do with politics it has to do with San Diego and um, it's probably just a good website right so you want a lot of these websites pointing back to your website because it's it's the more websites you have linking to your website it's like a popularity contest the more authoritative it's gonna seem right and it's all gonna help with just ranking you higher than your competition so this is where you're at your organic keywords are the number of keywords that you currently rank for I have a feeling that this is a very fairly new website <clears throat> um, organic keywords are the number of, yeah so uh, words that you currently rank for and the amount of traffic that you're currently getting uh, to that website organically and then you also have your Facebook right there that's attached to it now let me show you your competition all right, so we're sitting at three referring domains on 51 backlinks. So not necessarily a lot more than you, right? You're sitting at one, two. They're sitting at 351. It's not going to be too difficult for us to pump uh, more links back to your website and definitely beat this out of the water. At least 70, 80 referring domains on about, you know, six, seven, eight, seven, eight hundred backlinks. That's really going to put you way above them in terms of how authoritative your website's going to seem. And uh, you know what? That might even just be the trick to actually get you to the top of the page when people search up Monica Montgomery. Um, but besides that, you know, there's a lot of other things that we would do for your website besides uh, sourcing those links and making sure that they're quality ones, right? What I would do is, I don't want to actually show you their website because it's kind of lame, but what I want to do is I want to go in here and um, I want to talk about a couple of things that I would fix on the actual on-page elements of the website, right? So this email address uh, right here is great. I would meant I would have a little bit more content about kind of what they would get, right? I, I can see the receive updates volunteer, um, but just a little bit more info there. Um, right here under Monica's bio, <clears throat> do you see right here? This is what's called an inner page, right? Because it's not the home page. Um, right here, vote for Monica.org slash Monica. What I would do is I would go in here and change this URL from just Monica to Monica dash uh, Montgomery. That's going to help you just get a lot more credit because it's it, it's kind of like showing Google what your what keyword you're looking to rank for, right? And so in this case, right now you're getting credit for the uh, word Monica, but you want to be a little bit more specific and target the phrase Monica dash Montgomery. That way, uh, Google really knows that you're trying to optimize for that keyword. Lots of great content on here. What I would do is I would do throw some interlinking in between, 
That way, um, the link juice of the website, so when we start throwing links at this website, um, it's get, just going to power up the entire website, not just specifically your home page or an inner page. So I would do more of those. Um, the Facebook is good right here. Maybe, I don't know if you guys have a phone number or like an email. Um, I would make it a little bit more. Okay, so here's the email. Oh, you can sign in. So I would have a contact form, right? Somewhere where people can ask you questions, right? Um, in case, hey, I mean, you know, like if someone's voting for someone, they they have some questions for Monica. You know, that's very possible. So I would I would have a place where people could um, ask her a question, whether it's via a phone number or an email or just a contact form. If you don't want an email address on there, and um, and have that there. Looks like Nation Builder built your website, media. I would just flesh out the website a little bit further, right? So, um, you know what? I'm actually going to show you your competition here. So, um, compared to her website um, and your website, you can see that her website, had this Monica O. Montgomery, has a lot of, lot of content. You don't necessarily have to have a lot of images because Google can't actually read images, but they can read the amount of content that you have. So, you can see that she just has more information, right? She's got she's got more content. She's got a, this contact form. She's got information about when she was on the press. Her homepage has a bunch of like blog posts, right? So you can see that it's just has more content. And having content is another factor in determining how authoritative it is uh, in in Google's perspective, right? You, imagine Facebook. Imagine Twitter. Imagine Reddit. They have tons of content, tons of pages, right? And so that's why it's it ranks so well in Google. Because it's such an authoritative, they're they are such authoritative websites. So compared to them, you can just see just you just don't have as much content. You just don't have as much stuff um, on your website as hers. So I would make it so that I would make it your goal as the website builder to just make sure that you have more and more information and build that out. Now I know this is a relatively new website, and I'm sure you're gonna continue to add more stuff as you go along, but this is all just gonna help you rank higher into Google uh, once you just start fleshing out the website a little bit further and really start um, adding more content on there. So um, besides the phrase Monica Montgomery, there'd be a lot of other great phrases to uh, start ranking for, right? And we'll start optimizing it for that, but we'll first do it with Monica Montgomery first, right? We want to claim that as number one spot, number one priority. After that, we can start um, tailoring your website, um, adding some inner pages and things like that, and specifically targeting phrases like um, who to vote for San Diego, um, or maybe a phrase best politician or best city council member uh, San Diego or uh, specifically targeting that location and anything that has to do with voting and city council and things like that, right? Because there are going to be people that don't necessarily know who Monica is, but want some more information about the various uh, politicians that are, are, that are um, um, electing, or not electing, um, that are trying to uh, win the election for, for that spot, right? So like I said, first we focus on, on keyword uh, ranking for Monica Montgomery, and then we just expand from there, depending, we would do the keyword research, figure out exactly what phrases are people searching up for in Google for the ones that we want to rank for and then build out the um, inner page and then um, optimize it specifically for that phrase so you start ranking for all those phrases as well. Um, so love to work with you guys. I've never worked with a politician before, but I would love to, right? Um, and from there, um, you know, we can just talk about pricing and what we can and how much it would cost for us to do this um, and kind of move forward from there. But like I said, I would love to work with you guys. I'll cut you guys a deal um, and, and we'll go from there. But again, I really appreciate you. If you if you looked at this all the way through, I don't know if this is gonna be Monica or Jose. I have a feeling it's gonna be Jose that takes this look at this video. But I'd love to chat further. I'll attach my phone number on there if you'd like to chat. Otherwise, you can just email back and forth through the email that I send you out um, through. So appreciate it again, and hope you have a good rest of your day. And good luck with the campaign. Thank you.